good dudes? Michelangelo here from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you are listening to the Tokyo Black Hour with Jermaine, Jamar, Branding, the most bodacious dudes right here. Kawabunga! Whoa. Whoa. Man, I'm happy to have y'all back. Man, you know, I'm going to put my goddamn, I'm going to put on a million dollar meat coke on. <laughs> you know, we slay, what, how many minks was it, 10 million minks? No, it was at least a million. A million minks screaming in terror and stop COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to put my meat. Welcome back to the Tokyo Black News and Review, episode 286. And only a few years ago, I found out what a meat coat was actually made out of. And I was like, wow, why would you butcher such an animal? <laughs> <laughs> For a coat. Uh, yeah, uh, I wish I had a good answer for you, but I damn sure don't. It's just like I seen some shit that had to take it out. You to do a bag. Bashing them baby big seals in the head. Like, what the fuck are we doing? They coming <laughs> for your love. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, that shit's cold-blooded for sure. Like, man, I can't wait to bash a baby seal in the head. <laughs> That's a nigga bashing a baby seal in the head like it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Shit's hey man, I just don't put that out there. Like Ain't said, nothing like living in America, boy. That shit wild over here. <laughs> yeah, Cold blooded, sir. Sorry. But ain't nothing like living in America. This shit wild over here, boy. But that shit wild in some other country, boy. The <laughs> motherfuckers are skinny cats. Of cat fur. I'm like, y'all nigga crazy. It's still alive. Bruh, some motherfuckers got a monkey torture ring. Don't Rest in peace and poor fucking monkeys. Yeah. Oh, the I the they can't. Where the hell Pete at? They don't never go fight them niggas over there. Go shut that shit down. Oh, you want to go over got, there, huh? They gangster, huh? They ain't got enough yes. money, man. Uh, welcome back to episode 286. We got the crew. You got the three amigos. Not the ones from Atlanta, but these are the three amigos from Atlanta, Georgia. You got Jay and R, the most unarticulate man in the world. We're going to have my main man, Split Master. He is now Labor Day shouty. I think if he ain't over there dying, Labor we do appreciate Day. Nigga, you a couple holidays ahead, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, Memorial Day shouty. Yeah, oh, man. yeah, Memorial Day shouty. Memorial Day <laughs> coming up? Yeah, at the end of May, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, God, I, God damn, I keep forgetting about these hunky holidays. We'll celebrate this shit every year in my life, and I always forget Memorial Day. That shit terrible. Mm-mm. I'm just saying, my bad, man. Hey, look, you forget Frederick Douglass' birthday, nigga, but I don't say nothing to white people. <laughs> I mean, uh, you're, you're uh, tough, but you fair. <laughs> so let's get on down to episode 286. All of these great stories are going to be from April the 23rd all the way to April the 29th, 2024. As Dusty would say, it has been time stamped. Nothing can stop this. Allegedly, supposedly. It can't. What's the time stamp on this? Legit. No one Y'all can stop nigga, us with scum always tries. <clears throat> Y'all come back in like 2030. Y'all nigga try to clone us. I want to see what y'all do. doing. Just cut the checks, man. Give my family the residual. <laughs> don't have them out here eating no goddamn gruel. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, don't have my family part of the ghoul goddamn factor either. Hey, man, but let's get on down. Hey, man, get on down to drum beats of war. Russia taking the week off. Ukraine getting their wallet stuff. Somebody <laughs> made a good point. Somebody said, what in the hell does a war torn, a war torn country need $60 billion? They all refugees. Ain't nobody over there. I'm like, damn, I stop you when you're wrong, white man. A war torn country. I'm like, god damn. Ain't nobody left over there, is it? Uh, I don't I mean, see it like it. Yeah, there should be. 
I'm talking about out in the military. I'm talking about you think a motherfucker still around there eating soup. I'm talking about I can't wait to watch the to watch the game tonight. Uh, I don't. You know what, man? I don't know. I just know one thing, nigga. Hey, I ain't never time. seen sixty billion. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, boy, shout out to America, man. You know what? Who gives a damn about drum beats of war? Oh, but I tell you what, but y'all white people, black culture is like a virus amongst the world. But y'all white people in their protesting, boy, that shit is starting to spread to the other goddamn colonies. Black people out here protesting for Gaza. I said, a nigga said, motherfucker said, I'm having in Palestine. He said, they should know what near Gaza. You don't even know what you're talking about. It was an incumbent. They were just going back and forth. You see na- nationwide rallies. I don't understand, nigga. You can't even eat properly in somebody's restaurant with your black ass. <laughs> you out here protesting. You might get nah. your look. You cannot go folk. to Dolly World with that bullshit, nigga. <laughs> and the white folk going crazy, man. The black folks sitting there hanging with them. You got, you know, no black folks ain't nothing more like goddamn sheeps and, you know, sheeps and wool. They wolves and sheep clothing. They land up with all y'all girlfriends out there. Betty, oh, yeah. Suzanne, Katie, <laughs> Jessica. Uh, they smoking up all y'all nigga weed, too. <laughs> you got any black people in there, they ain't with that shit, really. They just want they, they there used you for something. I don't know, <laughs> dude. If them niggas got them, uh, they got them, uh, what them, well, they got them Birkenstocks on, nigga. They part of the crew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they part of the crew. Yeah. You might have you know, they, they ain't really, they ain't really black, they ain't really white. They just in the middle and they, they confused <laughs> like Tiger Woods. I don't know what I am. <laughs> What's your police record say? <laughs> <laughs> black. Oh man, that always made me cry. That motherfucker, he don't know who he is. <laughs> what the police register you at? <laughs> We going on around. I'm sorry, but folks out here going crazy. They had um, Emory writing graffiti all over the wall, praying for Gaza, calling people all kind of names and obscenities. I'm like, man, you know what? I do, I do enjoy when y'all tearing up y'all shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, I bet you would do that shit at Yale. Sick the dogs out. <laughs> Tell my wife, to my other folks out there protest. Man, these motherfuckers protest in Atlanta, all over the world. I'm like, bruh. Do you think the people in Gaza are like, I appreciate the American? Hell no. They don't they don't know now one of them niggas' names. They ain't sending no letters. Yeah, said, yeah, we need we need some checks. <laughs> yeah, sixty dollars if you got it, America. <laughs> I go, I, I go back to the same thing, bro. I'm, I, ain't, I'm already ain't partially working because I ain't been going to work. Well, hey, my nigga, what we doing here? Cause do any of y'all niggas go to work? Cause y'all niggas got clean teeth, your clothes be looking semi nasty because you've been outside too long. Nice cars. Come on, Brand. They be looking healthy as hell. Do you know you, you like get paid to go to protest, nigga? <laughs> I'm for real, your bro. Hand, your hand looking like Drake. They soft as a pillow. Yeah, nigga, go to his bank. How much you got in there, Bob? About 60 grand. Made it last year protesting, nigga. What was you doing? Working for the man? Scumbag. We're in the wrong business. Maybe we need to go out there and protest, start tearing up some shit. No, I don't want to That's be- riot! <laughs> <laughs> Get a couple TVs. I want to be the nigga in the middle. You know, you get your head bust on the outside, so let's be wise. And if they start riding, let the nigga go. You got to go in with the first riders. Now, don't be in there with them last or the middle ones. They be the one getting their head bust. That wouldn't want to come back in there. My bad. That wouldn't want to come back in there. Nigga, I need them stereos back, nigga. <laughs> that when you get too greedy. Pack up some shit to come back out. You can get all the way home. I get that TV next. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, hey, Brandon. Yeah. When the rider go back and get that last TV and the owner got his shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
what you get for getting greedy? What you get for being greedy? You had it all. R.P. to all them looters, boy, who caught that hammer at the end. <laughs> God damn, boy. You a brave soldier, boy. <laughs> you tried it. Nigga done got, a nigga done got beat up for stealing the Jodice CD. <laughs> Y'all nigga got tightened up, boy. And was it worth them nights to go in there last? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, Mark. Go ahead. Uh, man, let's get on up to the upper room where we mourn a celebrity who passed away. You know what? Let's call this episode, uh, get that, you know, man, go get that check. I don't care what you do in your life. Go get that check. I don't care. Get your check, man. Do what you got to do to survive. The world is horrible. And as we get on down this bridge, you're going to see how sickening things are. So let's get on down to the upper room. Let's mourn these celebrities. Yet again, these people passed away April 23rd to April 29th, 2024. Time stamp two. It's been a light week, people. Iraq TikTok star mm, Fahad shot dead in Bangladesh. I'm a, yo, you are a brand. I read this story about her, right? I have no idea what she did, but she was a t- she only had like 335,000 followers. I'm like, wow. Is that all? But I repeated it, young lady. You know they shot another TikToker two weeks ago in Baghdad? What the hell is going on in Baghdad? Boy, they teach y'all. That American thinking, we're going to put a stop to that shit. <laughs> Bruh, y'all, y'all motherfucker are catching the women Batman nigga for being the influencer. Y'all folk got to stop influencing these people and just start scamming these niggas like everybody else. You know what it may be? They think you got some money <laughs> It ain't real. Hell you know, the, no. The, the, residual, the, the residual from TikTok ain't enough. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be scared to be an influence. What you do, nigga? I work in a yard, nigga. I, nigga, I shovel. I don't, I don't do nothing. I, I'd be afraid to be influence over there, bro. Cause them niggas get knocked off like it's okay. I want y'all nigga to know that they get done killing them, they eat their breakfast in the morning and get, go get some quiche <laughs> at, in the afternoon. You can't say you better not say what you got. Something you want to say? No. Moving on down to Meg Bennett, Star Trek actress. She was cancer-free after 20 years, and she passed away from cancer. She was on General Hospital and Young and the Restless, and she was a writer, too, for that. I tried to look at who she was on Star Wars, but I just could I, I was looking so long, I got tired. I said, let's move on down to the next person. But R.P., yeah. she was 75 years old, man. Anybody who was on General Hospital, Young and the Restless, or Star Trek, you get some props. I mean, was she on like three episodes, one episode of Peace? No, no, she was a writer and actor on uh, General Hospital and Young and the Restless. I got to find me an old motherfucker that know about the General I mean, Go ahead, Ma. Well, who been watching this shit since 1906? No. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people. Certainly not me. <laughs> <laughs> Moving down to Ryan Chan, Deadpool and Wolverine. Avenger Endgame, our director dead at 60, 56, 56. I was at 65. What was he? He was dead at 56. He was the uh, art director for oh, Deadpool man. and Wolverine and Avenger Endgame. Hey, man, if you work with Disney up under, them got the, uh, up under that pressure, you deserve some respect. <laughs> he probably had a healthy life before he got to fucking Disney because everything you named was just... Before they yes. bought Marvel, he was already old. So, yeah, he I don't know. He probably up on that Stan Lee thumb. Hell no, nah, boy. You see what they did? What's, what's the dude? You see what they did to Paul Rudd? He looking every bit of 70 now. <laughs> that mama used to be young and healthy. He do look tired now. <laughs> what goddamn did he you know? <laughs> did he? What did he know worked him to death in the last 10 years? <laughs> Motherfucking Paul Rudd aged. It's insane, ain't it? Go look at his photo. You like, damn, bro. Would you like a cigarette? Moving mm-hmm. on down, the Iranian rapper. I'm gonna put him in a pre upper room. Tamaj Sahali has been sentenced to he has been sentenced to death for his songs criticizing criticizing the regime. 
And you know where I put him in a pre upper room? Where he from? When they sentence you to death, what is it, Brandon? Is it a hundred percent or two hundred percent that you gonna die? I would say every bit of two hundred percent. Usually, <laughs> I take two hundred percent, Pat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Usually they ain't fucking. If they say, if they say it's happening, then yeah. <laughs> He'll never go over there and shake the dice on them niggas. So you said if I get a lawyer, it's gonna be all right. No, nigga, it's been we already <laughs> figured it out. It's been decided. Yeah, your yeah. American thinking got you fucked up. Yeah, lawyer's ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, put the, put the lawyer on the chopping block. We told that nigga not to defend him. <laughs> he too. <laughs> me too. Oh uh, man, moving on down. This is the most famous person who died the week. This show you how horrible this week has been in death. But we do appreciate the death. We do appreciate the Grim Reaper for taking a week off. Almost summertime. You got to get them tootsies in, you know, and get them tootsie rolled while he listen to Drake. <laughs> and then, he, you know, when June started, that heat stroke starting to come and all that other miscellaneous shit killing people, it's on and popping. <laughs> this motherfucking death go on vacation. I'm going to pick a lot of niggas up in Florida. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. So this is sad. Larry, the bar fly, had to die. This motherfucker been on The Simpsons for 35 years. I said, I've never heard Larry say shit. I had to look up what Larry was, and I'm like, oh, that guy's name was Larry? Uh, yeah, no disrespect to Larry the bar fly, but me too. I, I was with Jamar. I was like, that's that guy's name? Okay. But they have they, they have said his name before. He's had like Jermaine said two lines in yeah. that thirty five years. Huh. Two lines. Hey man, <laughs> put some spec on his name, man. That nigga hung. I, that nigga been here since the eighties, motherfucker. Y'all don't know him. I mean, yeah. I mean, I ain't mad at him. You yeah. know, he's, he's heard been, all the homo stories. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't never went to work. Him and that other nigga with them big glasses. Them niggas been at the bar every time home when I get there. And you know what? You know what a term I ain't heard in a long time? Brandon, you can contest to this because you're a little older. The bar fly. Well, you get called that, my nigga. It's not nice. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was until I looked it up. Today. I said, oh, this is actually a real meaning. Yeah. Bar flies? You ain't never heard of bar flies? I don't yeah. talk to white folk when I go to the bar <laughs> like Jermaine. Oh, I don't uh, and I don't and I don't hate getting bars with motherfuckers be like that's the bar you know, that's the bar fly. The bars I go to, you get thrown the fuck out if you pass out. Can't die here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, fair enough. You know, them old bars when you leave him in there he drunk. This ain't Andy Griffin. Maybe I should try that one day. He's too drunk. He'll be just let him stay. We'll get him in the morning. <laughs> Rob that place blind. <laughs> Don't bother my friend. He's dead tired. <laughs> oh man. One of my friends went and passed out in the bathroom and everybody forgot about him and the restaurant closed and locked the door. And then he woke up a little while later and wondered what the fuck happened and then just walked he out. Set up all the alarm. Uh I don't know. He said, if he did, he said they were silent alarms because he didn't hear nothing, you know. But, yeah, he fell asleep in the bathroom. We all forgot about him. And then. Uh, hey, Brandon. Yeah. When all them friends you forgot about going to heaven, and you still looking down upon, they still looking down upon you. <laughs> <laughs> I have my moments. Hey, Larry, man, I want to go down for you, bro, man. Been drinking all your life. They ain't never seen you go to work. Mo ain't never put you out. I always pay attention to that. Mo ain't never threw them niggas out. Hey, hey, regular, man. We we need goggles over there. We need the other drunk. who He mumbled once or twice. But I repeat all them people, man. Let's get on down and craziness. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Jack that up a little bit. Oh yeah, you know what? I had to put two. I had to put somebody else in the upper room, the pre upper room. Sorry, retired priest said hell was invented by the church to control the people. <laughs> if you grew up going to church, and the reason I put him in the pre upper room, you can't be talking that type of company talking around the church. <laughs> oh yeah, real talk. You're gonna get put out real quick. 
Even if you is telling the truth, you can't be spoiling the crap game. <laughs> he said he left the clergy. He ain't with that shit. Hey, I'm with my big brother. Hey, look, bro. Just watch your back, man. That when a nigga starts saying them, ex- them exorcist ninjas come out on a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Moving on. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. What the only place that we can get Drew, Drew Care to slap somebody on the prices right? Living in America. Smack, smack. He didn't mean to, boy, but goddamn Drew Care knocked her glasses straight off. And I was like, hey, how did you do that, Drew? Did you just forget she was right there? <laughs> he tried to get on the back, but she was too short, man. She should have she should have been panties in the big ass hand. <laughs> she know what Drew hey, Carey told her afterwards. If, if, if you really don't like me, just act like you like me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So we can get this motherfucking money. Well, call Chris my Chris. lawyer. Drew <laughs> Carey has assaulted me on the price. It's right. Goddamn uh-huh. lawyer jaws are leaking. <laughs> the money they can get just from that alone. You know what Drew oh, Carey's going to hear after I press charges? I'm Max Cherry. <laughs> Bill Bondsman. You need me. Hey, boy, I'm with my big brother and Brandon. Cause that was me. Oh, no, you did, Drew. You ain't slapped my motherfucking glass off. I apologize, man. No, not on TV, nigga. <laughs> he, cut, he cut my lower retina. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I can't, nigga I, I'm afraid of everybody with hands now. I need $100 million. <laughs> But I settled for five hundred thousand. No, nigga, I ain't selling. I settled for nine hundred and ninety nine million, nigga. And that beat you. Yeah, they had you on court to the day you die. You can pay me the rest it's of that. Good, nigga. You can pay me the rest of that million and yeah, Columbia. <laughs> I'm I, I, I want that uncut shit, nigga. <laughs> I can get to the top fast. <laughs> Oh, man, let's get on down to good old American news. Shout out to Afro Man. Boy, he need that check, too. He just did a song, Hunter Guy High. Shout out to Brandon and Dusty for having a good time. Boy, I would like this. Even Hunt, even even, even uh, Afro Man don't like Joe Biden. That's fucked up. Afro Man doesn't like Joe Biden if you give him $200,000. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, I don't like Joe Biden. What a check. See how you saying cut the check? Afro man, we appreciate you getting the check. CTC. Yeah, the check yeah. from my brother. C- CTC. Moving on down, let's give a good congratulations to Steven. You know what? We're going to have a, today I'm going to do a happy news segment where everything is, you know, these couple of stories going to make you happy. It's going to make America happy again. Steven Young, he joined his co star, Ali Wong, in winning a Golden Globe for beef. He deserved it. That motherfucking act, man. When What's that motherfucker beef? left the walk, it's a show on Netflix no, where no, everybody no, I was, looked. <laughs> yeah, oh. I was quoting a rap lyric. Oh, did you look at it too? Oh no, no, no! I don't know what the actual show is exactly, but you probably seen it on Netflix as like as it went by, but like I want to watch it. I just ain't sat down to watch, but now my boy want to go to the Globe. I got to do it. I like Stephen Young, man. That motherfucker. He said, he said when they killed him on the Walking Dead, he said it was a blessing. He's you coming back? No, thank you. <laughs> My career is bigger than this shit. Oh, um, that what he said? Oh, they asked him to come back for like a little, um, you know, one the Walking Dead. He said, Nah, no, thank you. That motherfucker said he all he wants to be a great actor. He ain't letting nothing hold him back, and as he should. Yeah, cause they don't got my nigga Rick. He done for. <laughs> yeah, he old now, but that check long. <laughs> Moving on down. <laughs> Airlines will soon have to pay you back if they cancel or delay your flight. Yeah, fucking look, time. look at that, boy. Ain't boy, he good? That, that motherfucker Joe Biden out there, he pandering, boy. Hard, ain't it? <laughs> so the Department of Transportation, DOT, finalized rule that they will soon require airlines to quickly refund passengers if they cancel. But we already know some back and stuff on that. They gonna they, they ain't gonna be trying to pay all them folk when a snowstorm come. They'll give you a voucher for a new flight, which is cheap and free to them. But your ass you better start coming up. My flight cancel. I need double. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what they're saying. No more vouchers. Yeah. Give me back my goddamn money, nigga. Y'all can cancel when y'all want when the gas. Y'all ain't use none of that gas and still gonna charge me extra. I want you to know, bro. I be talking to people get stuck in the airport. 
I got they got to pay for a hotel, nigga. I uh, sleep somewhere very uncomfortable because y'all didn't do y'all do y'all in the words my brother y'all do y'all DD. Yeah, I mean you can paint a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. I ain't got shit to do me, nigga. You can pick out you can you, you can paint my money, nigga, <laughs> and tell me when you want it and when you won't give it back. If think That's about true. that shit, Brandon, you go on somewhere and they tell you to, you been that eight hour, nigga. Your flight canceled to next week. Oh hell no. You know how much shit you got to do to, to get another flight somewhere else? Yes, I do. Oh, that's right. You were stuck before. My bad, b Ross. See, look, you should be mortified, nigga. Yeah, yes, I was. Dude, why? Just as a side thing, uh, our Skype feed, my camera's frozen. Why do I look like I'm running for office? I got that shit-eating grin <laughs> on my face. Yeah. Brandon 2024, boy. I'm both, boy. <laughs> Cut the check. That's man. the new logo, uh, man. I can believe Trump out of house. If I get up in there, it'll be raining stimmies. Yeah. What? What? I mean, hey, look, man, can't make you walk on that with you. I said, look, I ain't never. We part of the presidential aid. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> so, I'm fitting to fucking uh, ball out like uh, God who did the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, oh, man. He's on the tw- Franklin. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but we're going to have a dusty draw, a Gundam outside the White House. Hey, nigga, draw that Gundam. Make it black. <laughs> <laughs> White folks will pass out. Oh, man. Moving on down. Shout out to Joe Biden, man. Boy, that boy pandering. He need no votes. Million more salary workers will be eligible for overtime pay under final Biden administration rules. So if you hit the threshold of $43,888 or $844 a week starting January, July 1st, I mean, and then to $58,000, you know, $1,128 a week, you will get paid in overtime, according to Joe Biden. (laughs) Why didn't do that shit four years ago, nigga? It's a little late. Boy, what? Can you imagine the money me and you and Jermaine could have made at a job that we all worked together at? Yeah. We would have been raping them. They would, we would have raped, but we would have been living fat. <laughs> oh, yeah, nigga. I would have had two houses, nigga, because them niggas worked up like some goddamn dogs. <laughs> Brandon, though. Brandon, was he wasn't there for the shit show, but he was there for the shit show. Yeah. Yeah, not much. Well, Shit, eventually I ended up getting work like a fucking dog. Um, yeah, you know, but I'm it, saying, you too. We would have got paid with all that overtime they owed us. Yeah. Uh, see, Brandon, got, Brandon <laughs> got caught in the middle of that shit. He was living large and fat at first, and they eased that shit on on him. <laughs> Luckily, I was never salary, so I got paid overtime. Oh, did you? Sure did. Uh, we were just some cocksuckers and uh, losing money every day we walk in there. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, I we- can't... Uh, Oh, they, I can't lament. Enough for you. I can't lament this pain Damn with you. you. Damn you, white liaison. And sorry if I forgot to introduce you to. I may have forgotten, but I am introducing you now. Yeah, you know, man. the laborer ain't nothing but a horse with some sh- with some hooves on. Um, with them, with them, what they call them? Um, the metal horseshoes on. Um. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. That, that what humans are. We got our metal horseshoe. What you do when you got that metal horseshoe wear out? That Brandon, that horse tied. <laughs> gotta put it down, baby. <laughs> gotta 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 let you retire, bub. I need two more years for retirement. Gotta put you down, bub. That's crazy. The white man created horseshoes because they ran the horses too much. I did the. Oh, oh, I bet. A, I bet a black man created horseshoes. Carry on, boy. I'm gonna look that up and see in a second. I it's can't get white people that foul, boy. But but we said that before. Y'all motherfuckers put horseshoes on the horse to run it even raggedy. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn horse. It'll run another 50 miles with them things on his foot. Really? What about... No gasoline, huh? <laughs> and when the horse couldn't run no more, you shot it. Oh, man. Get the check, man. Hey, man. We're going down. Hey, shout out to Fallout, too. 
If you watch Fallout, I appreciate you. I don't know if Brandon seen it yet. He should be watching it. Not yet. I've but heard they had 65 things. million viewers in the first two weeks of watching Fallout. 65 million? And two? That's a lot. And that shit streaming? It's on 24 hours all day? That's good. Well, you know, I know somebody, somebody out there punching themselves in the, in the jaw. Thinking about it, we could have squeezed that into a movie. We're 65 million times $13 plus some bad popcorn. <laughs> a $20 ticket. Agree. A lot of cake. They don't need to, bro. They'll make more money on Amazon. Like, nigga, you, you got more freedom. That's true. Shout out to Amazon, man, for actually starting to give us some good shows. Amazon do have God of War on the way. And uh, if you play Horizon Done, great game. Netflix was working on Netflix. Netflix is working on that. And, yeah, that's all the good news we got, man. Let's get on down to the crazy shit. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Roseanne Barr said Joe Biden touched her in a, in a – she had some crazy remarks, man. But you know what? Every time Roseanne Barr Twitter come on, I've been listening to that horse shit of yours for months. <laughs> and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you. I used to like you. You. What's the other goddamn dude? Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, James the, Woods. Uh, you <laughs> and James Wood have lost y'all. Goddamn. A lot of y'all have lost y'all mind. A lot of y'all, man. Y'all be really hard for the cause, don't you? And black folks, too. And shout out to um Joe Biden. They had the um White House lunching or dinner. Why does the White House need celebrities to come? Don't you nigga have wars to fight? I don't give a damn about Scarlett Johansson eating a fine lobster. <laughs> Gotta get that I'll be donor that money. Per- yeah, I know, but why? Shouldn't you be doing something else with your time? We we got some motherfuckers out here protesting about a war that's not here. Y'all need to get to tighten up. I don't know. I, I feel that uh, people running for elections shouldn't be out here fucking pimping themselves. You know? yeah. They shouldn't get to have Damn. celebrity friends. They need to stay just Damn. like me. No celebrity friends. Hey, Jermaine. Huh? Hey, Jermaine. Goddamn, comrade. <laughs> 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 sound like coming talk. No, nah, that me. sounds like I can't have fucking it. freedom talk. Them motherfuckers need to be in there passing them laws, living, getting making about sixty five a year like me. That way they don't lose sight of their motherfucking self. You know. <laughs> uh, I stop you when you're wrong, man. Moving yeah. on down. They ain't hanging out with nothing but rich people. You know? Yeah, I ain't rich. They and ain't they fucking... become richer in the end. Yeah, I don't give a damn what you say. Man, a lot of people hate Obama. Obama Obama plays y'all like a goddamn fresh game of craps. I don't know how much. Obama wasn't really worth much. But that motherfucker probably worth $200 million now. I mean, after all those speaking Man. engagements and shit, I'll give, I'll give him this much, though. He's laid pretty low for the most part. Not as low Joe as Joe Biden Bush. Or, it up for him. Not as low as George Bush, but that motherfucker left yeah, office. You ain't see George Bush for... Yeah, you might see him at a baseball game, but that motherfucker, he stayed out of the limelight after he was done. Just man, but he kept pictures. fucking up. Every time you get him somewhere, he high, <laughs> allegedly supposing. Oh. Shout out to Michelle Obama for holding his hand. That motherfucker didn't know where he was at. <laughs> oh, I'm talking Junior George W. I guess I should have said the W. Yeah, you don't you don't remember that time he was he was at some. Military funeral, he was shaking his hand and goddamn Michelle Obama grabbed his hand and held it tight. He's like, he just calmed down. I thought that was old. I thought that was old Bush. I thought that was Daddy Bush. Bush. I was talking no, about Daddy Bush was dead. Oh, I'm talking about old W. Oh, uh, no, I guess I didn't know him. Yeah, you vaguely. Look at it. You, you, we talked about it a long time ago. You like, I don't know what he was on. That motherfucker forgot he was at a funeral. <laughs> Well, maybe it was high. Yeah, I would hope so. You, and you could just, you could just see Michelle Obama just in it. You, and you know what? He always sat next to her like she had to get him straight. I ain't never noticed that. Go back to all the photos or anything. She always close to him. Sit your ass down, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go back and look at it. Weird. They got their robot malfunctioning. <laughs> they, they like got to tighten them up. <laughs> Moving on down, live science, man. Shout out to this. Sound like a good Doctor Who episode. Hundreds of it is it was a Doctor Who episode. Sorry about that. Hundreds of black spiders spotted in the mysterious Incan city in on Mars. When did we start giving Mars names like Incan City? I think that Matrix starting to fuck up a little bit, right? Uh I don't. I don't know. They 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 explained it away so quick. You know, it was like a reflection of gases or something. Or I forget what I forget what the banal explanation they gave for it was. But well, nigga, don't tell us a bunch of black spiders, nigga. We ain't ready for the spider apocalypse. Yeah, please. That's the last thing I go on. I take a Wolverine apocalypse. You know, some cats. Don't bring them spiders. Don't encase me in that shit. Let me blow up real fast like Brandon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't bring the days in my pocket. Don't bring the Mars spider. Man, you bring the Mars spider. Got to use that lab propane tape. Taking the whole neighborhood with you. Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> Who want to be lunch? Not me. But shout out to that, man. Every day, we keep finding more mysterious shit. Oh, we found things on the moon. What was it? What moon? <laughs> yeah, the moon's a myth. It doesn't exist. Okay, no need to do the scientific behind that. Oh, man, this is the biggest thing that's hurting all the men in America, all the men in the world. I had to read. I re- only read this article to a certain extent. Um... I'm, this is how you know we have we have went to the tipping board of insanity. Dick morphia is actually a word. <laughs> yeah, I say black folk be making up shit. Dick morphia is when you are not happy about the size of your penile system, and they say about eighty percent of men are not happy with what they have. It's a roll of the dice. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You take one good for the bad, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's definitely not much you can do about it. Yeah, you born with it, you know. And, you know, and, and women, you know, it, it's sad when you meet somebody and they say, oh, that's all you got. But you'll find somebody who will take you for you. <laughs> we, ain't figured that, we ain't figured out that extension pill yet, you know what I mean? But you can't do nothing about that right now. It's, it's just you. Even if you average, how big you want to be. Not right. Like when you get 40. The sex game is over with. Yeah, you'll do it. But it ain't like when you was 20. Real talk. You just, you know, by the time you get me, Jermaine, and Brandon age, you just happen not to throw your back out into motion. I'll <laughs> stop him he when he's lie. wrong. He ain't <laughs> lying. <laughs> You're not a young tender anymore. But, it, you, know, it, you know, if you suffer from the small man disease, it happens. Be a good husband. Be a good man. Yeah, get your face game up. Get your face game up and let your wife sleep with another man. White folk do that too, so I don't know what the hell to say. Black <laughs> folks starting to get this shit too now. Y'all sharing y'all wife with another man? Huh. That's intriguing. <laughs> Gotta start hang, hanging around y'all white folk. Hell, motherfucker, all fucked up around here. But yeah, so a lot of men are suffering from dick morphia. We're sorry for you. But pr- think about this. How big who do you really want to be carrying that elephant trunk around always? That's what to say. You got a small baby's forearm in your fucking slacks at all time. Yeah, but who wanna be lugging that hip ass shit around? They're like women. Do you really think all ninety percent of women don't want huge breasts? That shit hurt. They heavy to wash. Some of them just keep them. The motherfucker hurts your back. Yeah. I'm going to be like, big breath for what? I get these down to some beaker. I said, okay. <laughs> My back and shit hurting, lugging these shits around all day. Big ass bra. You're right. And and I think, fucking wires I cutting like into you. Go, hey, look, if they flawless, go brawless. It's all good. <laughs> 
I you mean, put, hey. you know what? You should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I ain't mean, I, I, look, man. If I, if, if I didn't steal it from American Dad, I would. Oh, that motherfucker yeah. stand <laughs> said, and that flawless go brawless. I'm like, I'm with it. Hey, man. Hey, look. I am. A, I have put on a t-shirt of, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I might be. You might right. Yeah. Hey, look. Told you, man. I know. I know. So, y'all got to get some better bras too, man. I can't get in the Walmart bra. I got them hanger, new hanger wires in the back. That would be cutting up your circulation and shit. That shit got to, hey, man, look. Y'all got to stop buying <laughs> cheap bras, too. I'm a titty man. I apologize for that, but I like it all the time. Man. Yeah, I don't, you know, it is what it is. Though it's not yeah. that type of show. Hurt your well, back. You know. Show me your back. You look good to me. <laughs> I don't think nobody should be wearing a bra. We probably shouldn't be wearing underwear. We should probably just be out here letting it all hang out. Try that commando shit. Don't feel well. Well, you ain't used to it. <laughs> Always yeah, afraid of that zipper. I can't also can't smoke like that. <laughs> you ain't used to it. Me either. You know, it's so you know, you like a child. You like the more you, I like my draw to fit. You know, shout out to any man who out there still wearing shit with draw. Boy, y'all insane. <laughs> <laughs> they wearing what? Some silk drawers. I remember my oh, mama yeah. got us some silk underwear. Jermaine said, what day? We didn't say this in front of our money. This shit right in my ass. <laughs> it made my asshole sweat. I don't even know what I said. This shit fucking women like nigga with silk drawers. Like, she gonna eat. Well, what we gonna do with these besides be smelling like nuts and butts over here? Because <laughs> you gonna be sweating in that motherfucker, nigga. This ain't no, Don't wear those silk drawers to work or school, nigga. You need to wear that straight from the shower to the bed. <laughs> this the shit, greatest information of all time. All right, these sexy draws, nigga. These ain't working draws. <laughs> yeah, need <laughs> some breathable cotton. Well, yeah. God, he ain't lying. I need my shit to move. When I move, it moves just like that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know that. You know it. Hey, man. No, my move is gone. Let's get on down. The scientists have figured out that we are living in a um, simulation. I'm starting to think it's real. Yeah. Only thing I need to know is. If we end the matrix, how can me, Jermaine, and Brandon, and the other people on the podcast when they come back get that check? We don't need a million dollars. If I'm in the matrix, why would you leave me poor? I don't understand this. <laughs> they said, I like, "Are y'all not listening?" In the matrix, I, it said they tried to create a utopia, but fucking humans rejected it. We gotta have the strife. We can't accept fucking yeah. We can accept it. I mean, I can accept all it. Yeah. Who ain't? Yeah, anybody who won't accept Utopia can get a pistol to the head. Well, well right. you want to do foreign rights? <laughs> I want government. <laughs> why can't why can't they matter. why couldn't they make a program just for those assholes and let the rest of us live in the Utopia? You know? Yeah, it don't make sense, man. But and you, and you know what I was thinking? I fell into the um, TikTok YouTube rabbit hole. And a dude was a, a dude was saying he went through. He was in London. I didn't know it was it's multiple cities up under London. Did you know that? Like levels that they yeah. And I'm like, when did y'all have time to keep building over shit? And people didn't notice it. I mean, they probably did notice it, you know, but it happened so gradually that, yeah. You know, I mean, London's old as fuck. But I'm talking about they said it might be 10, 20 levels under London. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. And one, this dude was saying that he went down like four levels and he was in like some old train rail car or whatever. And the moment said two cameras popped on and started staring at him. He got the hell up out of there. And I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't have been in there anyway, nigga, because it was dark and say, don't, no white people allow. Yeah. Y'all you are, hey, look. Should have been minding huh? your business. Hey, Brandon. Tell me why white people, one word white people can't read, don't understand, it all look like a foreign language. You niggas do not look at, don't like the word trespassing. God damn, <laughs> bro. That shit look like a foreign object. What that shit say? I can't read that. No, nah, nigga. Yeah, nigga, it's America, Jack. This land belong to me. <laughs> Just think about this. Nothing makes sense. If you start to kind of look around, nothing makes sense. And I get back to this. Brandon. Yes. Would you let an 87 year old man with dementia drive your Cadillac, be your, be your chauffeur? 
uh, how old? 86. Would dementia? No, no, can't say that I would. Why is he president? That's a good question. A and, it's like, and they have done this on both sides. The goddamn Democrats doing it. And let's not forget the Republicans out there. <laughs> old, old Ronald, he ain't drinking no water. <laughs> Yeah. Cause they, you know, some people say that dementia is can be a part of because we're not drinking enough water. I mean, yeah. yeah, but like, come on. But you got to realize it's, we, it's a starting cause of it because uh, it's somebody, it's somebody, it's somebody, it's something, it's something like the water and the oxygen in the brain. If you don't have enough on a certain point of time, man, that shit start, you know, drying up. But they say, you know, we got to post drink a lot of water anyway, even though we mostly water. You see what happened to your urine when you don't do nothing but drink beer and whiskey. This shit turned into <laughs> acid. Uh, you say, yeah. Okay. You ain't wrong. So, like I said, drink more water, man. You see what happened to a nigga kidneys who's been drinking all his life? <laughs> drink more water. If you're going to drink a bunch of whiskey, Drink more water on top of the flushy kidneys. You see what I'm saying? Right. But they, you know, they saying that's a part of it too. And some people like they not they didn't drink enough water their entire lives. But you know, let's not forget that we got a man of that with dementia. They did the same thing running Reagan. Did they? You like damn? Y'all starting to get exposed now. Who running the show around here? <laughs> you wouldn't let an 86 year old man with dementia <laughs> teach how to drive a forklift. Why is he running the country? <laughs> Fair, fair enough. And, and why is he hosting a party with a bunch of celebrities? Also fair enough. I wonder if the drugs are any good. They got to be at the White House. Boy, it ain't white for no reason. I, I mean, they found that cocaine in there that one time. I know Hunter was in there getting wild. Shout <laughs> out to NewYorkPost.com. Do we want to talk about a Secret Service scrapping? The ones who supposed to be uh, protecting Kamala Harris, they get to <laughs> yes. with another agency. I mean, this just is, this is the type of stuff that shouldn't be getting leaked out. Agreed. You know? Like, what do y'all with this many leaks in America? How 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 safe are we? <laughs> Not as safe as you'd like to think. I bet. Even I'm like Trump. All your business is getting poured into the street. What what the fuck is America doing? This type of shit used to used to keep on the wraps. Well, now that everybody's got a fucking camera on them, though, it's hard to keep anything under wraps. Yeah, but you know what? In a hundred years, they gonna say this shit wasn't realistic that we made this up. There's no such thing as a ban on a computer. <laughs> Think about it. When the world go back to shit and it start back over, the internet is a thing of the past. Yep, it'll be, it'll be fucking uh, sci-fi just, again. Just think, just think about this. We're recording stuff on camera phone. What do you think they're gonna be doing in forty years? Probably beaming it straight to our fucking brain. I'll take my I'll take my suit, please. <laughs> Yeah, probably the same shit though, really. Different phones, probably with your eye, but nobody cares about these ages fighting. Moving on down, uh, do we want to talk about Giselle bunching and crying during the traffic stop? No, no way I give a shit. She was getting chased by some proper ops here, allegedly. She was snotty nose and shit. They have, ain't, the comments were so vicious. You a mean spirited woman. I don't give a damn how many times you get pulled over. But they need to do something about the paparazzi, boy. I swear to God, you need to have a transporter in your car every time you with the paparazzi. Wear some asses out and get you home. <laughs> I agree. It should be it should be legal to punch them. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to sue you, man. They hey, should man, be able to get them on. photos, but it should come at a cost. You should be able yeah. to fucking punch them. I hit them with a taser when they get too close. Yeah, or or at least or you get one warning shot. No, you get no. You, I hit him with them bean bag. No motherfucker that hurt. Yeah, I could go. I could go for that bean bag. Yeah. Or them goddamn or them plastic. What is it? Plastic bullets? What? Yeah, rubber bullets. Your motherfucker that hurt. Boy, why would you shoot the? the I don't know. The I'm Bible. good. I'm good with a bean bag. Yeah. 
You catch one of those right in the chest. You could die. Weak constitution. That's America now. Get on down to Indy 100. Shout out to Chris Brown, man. He keeping the beef going. <laughs> he did a slick move and also insane move. So Quavo had a concert in um Indianapolis, Connecticut. Oh. And only 75 people showed up. Bro. It, it looked so pitiful. <laughs> and you know what fucked up, man? What's that? Those 75 people had the best time of their goddamn life. And I, pre- I appreciate Quavo. You know why? Dude. Don't even know which one he truly is. But that motherfucker kept performing. <laughs> he didn't, He gave them the show they paid for. So did he just not sell the tickets? Or did Chris Brown really buy all those tickets? Chris Brown bought all, all those tickets. <laughs> no shit. That's fucking, yeah. that's next level trolling. That's good shit. Yeah, and did, uh, did you hear his diss track? That motherfucker, that motherfucker might have diss track of the year. Yeah, you know, like his shit was his shit was way harder than either fucking Kendrick Lamar's or Drake's or fucking J. Cole's. Oh no, man! You know I gotta say, man. You know that Chris Brown bumping, but that goddamn Drake, that shit a single now. <laughs> no, you it know, ain't near as good as that fucking is that Chris Brown. What I'm saying is, I understand that, but that Drake shit has turned into a single now. That push up. Yeah. Well, you see, that shit been played so many times, man. That shit probably put $20 million in your pocket. I man. would drive with my son on on uh, Old National. <laughs> they could do some push up. I like everybody playing this shit, boy. Huh. I turned on the radio. Push. I said, boy, Drake push up. I said, boy. The thing is, when you, I'm kind of going all over the place. The, same, the thing is, when you did somebody and they make it into a single, you really won the whole battle. Well, I don't know about that. Especially a single that makes money. Let's not forget about Back to Back. Back to Back probably won the most played song on uh, Spotify that, that year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Back to Back was a good one. He he fucking definitely hit Meek Mill where it hurt. Oh, no, nah, he, 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 he fucked them up, too, because I, I have been listening. I listened to the track, but now you got to start listening to people break it down. I'm like, wow. And I don't know who Kiki is, but I think Kiki um, may be Kim Kardashian. You remember that song, yeah. Kiki? Yeah, and that, and Snoop was like, did that why he don't like you? He fucked your bitch. He talking about Kanye West. I'm like, damn. That <laughs> nigga Drake slick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. Still waiting on that Kendrick response. Hey. He gonna send some shit on blow everybody up. Moving on down to radar online. But let's get on down to the funny boy, hey Brandon. Yeah. All women and men need to know. Don't show up to my property when we break up. Neo called cops to remove X Sade, whatever her name is, from his Georgia mansion. Let me tell you. Why y'all why, why y'all be showing up? Why, why do Women and men be trying to show back up at the place they've been thrown out of. <laughs> Collect your belongings and leave. Matter of fact, I'll have them mailed to you. Yeah, just let me know. I'm Neo. I can afford to have some movers come and get your shit out of my house. Or he been divorced for there. years. I guess you must have pulled up there with that BS. And he was like, "Man, call the police. Just call the call the police." Yeah, and ain't got to get to that, you know. But moving on, no one cares about Pauly Shore crying. Man, Richard <laughs> Simmons said he did not approve his his pan biopic. First off, he looks like you. Yeah. You just don't want nobody to tell your story, which is fine. You have your rights to pre private, but like, come on, bro, he bringing you back into the limelight. Yeah, what if he doesn't want to be though? Yeah, man, when you in Hollywood, they own you to the day you die. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised at Hollywood and how John Wayne body stuff. <laughs> you see Clint Eastwood out there. Boy, the struggle is real. I only know he can't even see no more. Tell me he's doing another movie. That really isn't he like ninety three? I think he was trying to do one more movie. I mean what? Yeah, God bless him. 
whatever vampire souls that you were sucking up, I need it. He still looks better than Gene Hackman. Oh, Gene Hackman done, boy. Gene Hackman, he he, he got them scratch outs in his hand and the hat on. <laughs> Maybe Clint Eastwood was drinking his water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, moving on down. Shout out to Crazy Hillbilly White Women of the Week. This is um ARS Technician, Technical, sorry, ARS Technical.com. Three women contract HIV from dirty vampire feces. Facials, I mean. <laughs> I keep seeing feces, but facials. At an unlicensed spa. These so bitch. this spa is giving people what is like blood shots in the face. They, yeah, I guess they're probably like, you know, putting their pouring blood over their face or letting their face rest in a pool of blood or, dude, anytime it's got anything to do with a bodily fluid, mm, pass hard pass. First off, I've dated a lot of women in my life. Some say I have a problem. Some say some say they crazy. I've dated one who wanted to be a Wiccan. You're not a witch. You're just a white woman. <laughs> pretends to be a witch. <laughs> and I dated one girl who said she had a vampire fade when she was in high school. And I'm like, but you're not a vampire. You're just a you're just a regular person. Like, why do people want to be something they're not? Dude, I can see maybe in high school when you're fucking young and but, weird, but. Oh man, I know, I know, I know at least about four or five. I'm, I, I, I'm a, I'm a certified wicked. And I said they just stole your money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can practice witchcraft. It's just this ain't the craft. You know what I mean? Like, you can technically be a witch, I suppose, but you're not casting these spells. You got to go down to the white folks in the bayou if you want to cancel some spells. <laughs> But whatever they got going on, they shit legit. My, but you know, you know, y'all get nice broomsticks and you know, putting black fingernail polish on. I just can't. I'm just, I'm getting to that point now. I'm so sick of everybody, man. All I want to be, you know, I don't even care no more about these people. I'm tired of everybody around the world. Only person I worry about the one in my vicinity. That'd be Brandon. Anybody on the podcast and my small friend. I appreciate it. That's it. I can care less about all these motherfuckers. And, you know, this may be, I don't care about no wars. I don't care about who fight. This shit been going on for a hundred years. And y'all motherfuckers keep protesting. Cut me, Jermaine, and Brandon, and everybody else in America to check. And we'll shut up. Yeah, fair enough. Don't cut nobody else to check. Because I'm like, if you can't take care of your own people, hell, why the fuck am I keep worrying about y'all? Yep, yeah, real talk. CTC. Moving. Yeah, cut the chat, man. Moving on down, man. All y'all white women who call that HIV, you ruined. You no good. <laughs> yeah, you, you done no fucked good. up on some fucking stupid hokey vampire horse shit. I hope your insurance good, because they can stop HIV now. But it ain't going to be expensive. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Andy Good, though, man. He wanted Will. A business inside. This is real quick. A couple accidentally shipped their cat in an Amazon return package. <laughs> it arrived safely six days later. I'm like, boy, thank God it went FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you, how the, how the post office, boy? Uh, won't he do it? Well, what? <laughs> Can you imagine if you was, and like Amazon rough too, man, but God damn, they're real nice on them people, boy. That shit could have been UPS. That motherfucker could have been thrown down all the belts. <laughs> oh, man. But shout out to them people getting their cat back. But, you know, I don't blame them. The people cats be fucking up their vacation. <laughs> Hiding in the bag until it's time to get on the plane. Then you got to get it out because you got down. Your, your cat sitting in there looking like a dead penis. <laughs> you scared. <laughs> Where did this skinless cat come from? I don't know. I just don't get how a motherfucker closes his bag up with a cat in it. I did it one time. Did you? I was under the I was under the weather, boy. I didn't realize that motherfucker clowned it. I didn't realize he climbed into the bag. Of, how have you said? I can't talk right now. He got my, he got one of my suitcases. 
Boy, when I zip that bitch up and start to roll it, <laughs> that motherfucker was just tearing it up. <laughs> what the fuck? I said, at least you smart enough and not like you taking a nap. <laughs> Well, my goddamn got the shaking that motherfucker. He got he got the hell up out of there. Yeah, fair enough. But I didn't know he was in there. You know, anytime we go on vacation, there's another thing people can't get right. Why do we always pack at the last minute? I mean, how far how far in advance are you trying to pack? But anytime I go on vacation, my wife had her shit packed three days early. I'd be goddamn packing that shit that night. What you think about these shorts? I mean, that's what I do. I pack the night before. But white folk pack so light. I don't know. I don't even know how y'all get everything going to carry on. Well, I mean, all you need, all you need is fresh drawers and fucking wife beaters and socks, you know, fucking three sheet t-shirts, two pairs of shorts, a pair of pants or something. Yeah. You know, like you can make it work. I'll be carrying goddamn suitcase. Like I'm going to be at this sixth year. <laughs> That, see, those are the people I don't get. How many goddamn outfits do you need for a fucking four day trip? You know? Yeah, you may pee on one, may go out there and get drunk. You know, you may actually go out there to the beach and be stinking and want to get fresh. <laughs> but my rule of thumb is the reason why I always care so much shit, just in case I get trapped out here, I got me some britches. I still hate to be that one dog on vacation with the one pair of drawers on. <laughs> I'll be bringing like goddamn 10 pairs, saw eight draw t shirt. If I gotta live here for the rest of my life, at least I know it's gonna be comfortable for a first, at least the first couple of months. <laughs> <All right. laughs> God damn, when you see white folk at the end of the world, they don't have nothing. They don't have nothing but their hands. You didn't bring nothing with you. All my stuff was in one satchel. Yeah, but when we got to start running from the zombies, you're going to be trailing that heavy-ass fucking suitcase behind you. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have them sandals on. So it's over with for y'all. I'm going to be running in your sandal. That black man already done ran 10 paces ahead of you, carrying a suitcase with shit in it. I don't know. We'll see. At the end of the world, all white folk be having on them sandals. Like Jermaine said, you better have them burger stocks on and they better be tight. <laughs> Cause then like, every time you go to the beach, you see white folks in sandals. Look at the movies. Who the first one to fall when the aliens come at the beach? <laughs> the white folks in them sandals. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to fucking rewind the tape and yeah. I'll be having my goddamn shoes on like Michael J. Fox and Back to the Future, boy. I tell my wife, better run. <laughs> better tighten up, boy. I keep these sneaks on. The sharks may, the Sharknado may come. I'm going to break your arm to get you in the car, but I'm going to get you there. But all them folk with them flappy, cheap-ass sandals <laughs> that you bought out of Dave's sandal shop. Tighten up, man. Moving on down to people need to tighten up the New York Post. I laughed until I cried, but I'm sick of y'all white folks. I'm sick of y'all fashion people. Because I don't I don't I'm trying to understand. When they have fashion week and fashion stuff, are we too poor that we never see this stuff in the streets? Yes. Or we just don't rip huh? Yes. Like they have fashion week with all these ugly ass clothes and all. I never see nobody dressing like a buffoon in the street. Yeah, it's because you're too poor. And I think I've heard a lot of like fashion shows are just like, it's like when fucking automakers make concept cars that are never going to see like mass production. Yeah. It's just like, look at this cool thing that I made that you'll never get to drive. You should be giving us some checks, pay your people some more money. It'll utterly insane. Moving on down. NewYorkPost.com. The pea stain denim designer jeans. Has a serious high price tag. I piper, I popping price tag. Sorry about that, people. They have new denim with pea stain denim. These goddamn jeans cost six hundred and eighty dollars. I bet you the cow wasn't even that much that you slaughtered for these jeans. Mm-hmm. So they've already got they're already pre piss stained, and I got to pay six hundred bucks for it. 
they got brown stains. They got white. You know, the, um, you wear blue jeans, they get wet. So you got a big old blue stain at the top and a little one on the side that look like pea stains. Dude, who is the asshole that's buying these? That's what I want to know. Who is this person? Who are you? Write in tokyoblackhour gmail.com if you're rocking the fucking piss stained goddamn blue jeans. Like, and if I'm going to rock piss stained blue jeans, it's going to be because I got so drunk that I pissed on myself. I'm at least having a good the, time. I, I had those piss jeans, blue, blue jean one time. <laughs> Let he you know, who like, hath not, you know. This is what I was wearing, you know, trying to wear them. You know, I thought I would help trying to wear them Levi. <laughs> Shit, weak constitution that day, boy. <laughs> Too much to drink. <laughs> I like, I peed in my jeans. <laughs> and now, my, needless did I know, I could have been Miss Sally for $608. Yeah. Uh, $811 for certain pair. That's insane. Wasting our goddamn tax dollar. Moving on down to White Terror, the Associated Press. Tennessee House bill killed. A Tennessee House kills a bill that will have banned officers from studying funding on reparation. Brandon made a good point. I was like, why would you do that? It's just a study. What did you say, Brandon? I said a study becomes a proposal, and then a proposal becomes a bill. Yeah. Gotta kill that shit in the cradle. And a nigga be coming to want. I need my check, nigga. Yeah. I got ants this need to pay for y'all doing. People start getting ideas. You know, we're just gonna study it. And then next thing you know, here comes the pressure to get it. Yeah. Get some We have $37 trillion of debt. You can pay us back. They can pay white folks back. The ones who, you know. And I love to come in. I don't understand these fucking people. My daddy was, uh, my daddy had let me tell you something. Your own personal experience doesn't mean shit in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Like people say, but I ain't never had that experience. I tell people that I no longer tell people that. Well, I ain't never, I ain't, you know, I ain't never. I say, if you, if I, if somebody say, man, I got shot. But nigga, I ain't never been shot over there. I never say that now. I'm like, dude, I feel sorry for you. I'm glad I have not been shot over there. But you know, you tell white people something, you say something, they kind of go back. Well, I ain't never had to deal with racism. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> your skin, Katie, your skin color just perpetuated. <laughs> yeah, but then one dude said his daddy was a his granddaddy was a sharecropper. I said, nigga, that's your granddaddy. What about your pappy, 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 pappy on down the line? <laughs> he was a sharecropper. That's where he got his land from. They passed it down, huh? I'm just saying. Hey, everybody, black folks should get paid first, then we'll work on the Irish, and then we'll work on everybody else later. How you feel about that, Brandon? I mean, you know, probably, probably should throw the Native Americans in there somewhere. They played, they sell. I guess they, I guess they got casinos, though. That was a small It ain't all, bro, they played, they sell, boy. <laughs> because we assume that they, like, not all Native Americans are poor, starving people. Only like the rich ones, are like the, I, I would assume, like the ones who own the who own the um, casinos. Casino, but they don't own them no more. I heard the Yakuza own all the casinos in Las Vegas, even on the strips, even on the goddamn native land. They own all the casinos. The Yakuza, yeah, huh? Interesting. <laughs> they said they said they got them. You know, the Italians, man. The Italians, the Italians lost it. They they lost it. Huh. You get you can't hold it down forever, bro. So somebody come in stronger and better. And that's the Yakuza. Huh. Who knew? They said they said the Yakuza own Las Vegas. Huh. Allegedly, supposedly. I don't know, but I know the motherfucker own a lot of shit in a lot of places I don't want to go to a cliche mag dot com. White terror is back again, people. <laughs> Slavery. Pam, reparation. Let's get on down to um this lady. She was named in a class action lawsuit for awarding grants to black owner businesses. Hello, Elise. What her name is? Hello, Alice Close Series C Founding. It's kind of it's kind of hard to say. 
Yeah. Hello, Alice. Closed series C found in round. She was given a bunch of um, black owners grants, and people got mad, and then they suing her. And you know what's funny? I read the, I, I'm reading the comment, boy. That shit made white folks mad. <laughs> I've been working all my life, and I couldn't even get a business loan because your shit fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. People, white folks say it ain't no privilege, man. You can figure it out. You white. You, if you can't, if you can't hustle a man into giving you a loan and you white, your shit fucked up. Right? I don't know. I've never tried to. Yeah. But you have never tried to get a business loan. I, nigga, I bet. I tried to get a business loan. Got denied. It's all good. But then you people talking about she just giving out these grants to all these black owners and I can't get nothing. I said, shit, nigga, I can't tell. You just ain't doing the game right. I mean, yeah, don't hate. Fucking, you know, find your own mysterious benefactor. Stop fucking snitching. Oh, them motherfuckers were so mad. Just giving all our money away to native. Not native, they say the immigrants and blacks. I said, God damn. How much money black people get? Because we still living in poverty around this place. Ain't we, Brandon? <laughs> yes. No, yeah, but y'all white folks get mad when somebody else get the check. I told you before. If you, you white and you don't know how to use your whiteness, that's on you, right? <laughs> right? Am I wrong? Am I right? Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a way to think. I guess I'm just not leveraging my whiteness correctly. You have. You haven't broke your back in years. You broke your mind, but you haven't broke your back, and you always stay afloat. Yeah, yeah. I think that's more of my personal ingenuity, though. No, no, no. You still white, though. A motherfucker can hire you over there, hire me. But next time I go for a bidding loan, send somebody white in there. They give you the loan before they give it to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm that nigga show for nigga. Just give him the money. <laughs> That's what black nigga, people do now. That nigga told me he did that shit, Brandon. He said, hey, twin, I go out there and dress up all black in the suit and get the white girl. She put the money. Them motherfuckers think I'm her, her driver. Now how dumb them niggas is. I say, yeah. I open up the door for the motherfucker and everything and drive off, nigga. Them folk don't took it. I was like, good for you, nigga. Good for you. <laughs> good for you. Using a white woman for tactics on these white folk. He said, I sit, I sit, he said, I sit, in the, I sit in there and don't say nothing, twin. They talk all that shit about what to do with the money. I said, yeah, nigga, thank you. <laughs> it's fair game. It, you have to use what your nationality is to get yourself out of certain situations. Me and your man can go in the hood and be okay in certain places. You know what I'm saying? Right. What well, Brandon can't use his whiteness at. Yeah, that's true. I can use my blackness in certain situations to get Brandon, not get Brandon smoked in the city, you know? <laughs> and I appreciate that. And hey, Brandon Brand- can probably get me not get smoked in the city, I would hope. Yeah, yeah, I, I like to think I've, I can leverage my whiteness to get you in somewhere. Yeah, so you, use what you got, bro. If you white and you broke and you po, what is your favorite quote, Brandon? Because Jermaine had to say it last week. <laughs> of what God helps those who help themselves. No, an error on my end. Oh, an error on your end does not constitute an emergency on mine. There you go. I'm fucked up because I'm fucked up. I'm, I'm, I, I admit it. You know what I mean? My shit fucked up right now. Who gonna fix Jamar problems? <laughs> Jamar? Jamar? Dr. Seuss. Yeah, right. But shout out to them black lady, them white one man for giving out them black loan, boy. <laughs> It was only twenty five thousand dollars to ten black owners. I said, "Damn, is that it? Twenty five hundred, twenty five thousand dollars to piece? ten black owners? Yeah, no, no, no. Twenty five thousand dollars in grant, and white folks said we got to sue her. You wasting your money. Twenty five stacks out of ten niggas. They get that money, the nigga, for shooting the basketball in the <laughs> hole for one game more than that." You know, niggas, niggas can win a competition and get more than that. Two hundred and fifty grand for ten niggas. No, 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 no. I mean twenty five thousand. My bad. Twenty five thousand. The twenty five thousand were broken up between ten businesses. 
That ain't enough. No, that ain't shit. For white folk to be complaining about, man, mm. god damn. I thought y'all was talking about they were getting like millions of dollars. That right. If they'd all got two hundred and fifty thousand, like, then you know. Them nigga all got like two thousand dollars a piece. Like nigga, yeah. what yeah? Yeah, twenty five hundo where they all start yeah. a weed business because that's about the only thing you're getting <laughs> off the ground with twenty five hundred dollars. And even then it's gonna be a small business. I mean you you can hey, always man. stretch it. You can always do good with a small bit a small weed business. <laughs> oh man, let's get on down to White Terror, the US Sun. Girl nineteen who jumped red like this and she led eighty eight mile per hour car chase. After booze and night out, how she much? gets out of jail. How fast? 88 miles per hour. Oh, she was trying to go country. back in time. Her name is Zoana Zulowski. Huh. This is how you know it's not from America because it said she jumped a red light. I said, what the fuck that mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, she Wait. Oh, I, when I read it the first time, I said, what do you mean she jumped a red light? But when we say you... What, Brandon? Run a red light? You ran a red light or you? Yeah, oh, you run a red light. Well, they say jump, but this girl look like she's 47 years old, man. Shout out to her. But, they say she's 19. That bud, uh, when she got to the police station, she blew under like she wasn't drunk. She ran a red light, and she had. She took the police on the chase. Well, What do you get? She did it sober, which I don't know makes it, if it makes it better or worse. Like Brandon, and Jermaine, what do you get when you go on a goddamn police chase when the police catch you in America? <laughs> you should get the wood shampoo. <laughs> you getting that crunk? You are getting concrete pie. Yeah, yeah. Especially you if you black, they get that red shampoo. <laughs> You're gonna need a rotator cuff surgery when they jerk that arm all the way back. <laughs> yeah, be oh, straight. Yeah, but- Tell you, stop you resisting. red rum after they hit you with that pepper spray and break them legs. <laughs> oh, they go bend that motherfucker all the way up too. Yeah, nigga, rotate the cuff. Your wrist gonna need some help. Oh, I said, y'all nigga be tightening up cuffs like we little kids, nigga. Let that nigga wrist breathe. Be- you, know, look, you know how like a little kid put some cuffs on you? That nigga make them tight as hell, nigga. You ain't getting out of jail. And, 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 the, and to think about it, so I'll go ahead, Brandon. I was gonna say, back's gonna be hurting where they put that knee in it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got to. And then when you got to go pee, you always in handcuffs in the back of the seat. <laughs> you had them piss jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, but this girl says she's 19, bro. She looked every bit of 45. But she blew under. And I was like, she took you on the car chase and y'all just let her go like a misdemeanor and told her to go home. Because she blew under. If you take the police on a car chase in Atlanta, I don't give a damn if you under the radar at all. You get some concrete pie. You get some steel. And some knee. Oh, yeah. And you going to jail, Jack. I said, what country you at, boy? I need to go there. Oh, that black fella jumped the light. God damn. Y'all, y'all talking about hanging a nigga there. What about <laughs> having that white girl? It's insane. Moving on to Daily Mail. This show is a terrible show today, but we do appreciate people staying here for the long run. Get on down to the Daily Mail. Migrant influencer who flashed was $100 bills on TikTok bragged about squatting and milking the U.S. welfare state. That that motherfucker there crying and he can't afford an attorney. But you thought they were cheap? You thought your TikTok money was going to pay for an attorney? <laughs> You ain't been in America long enough. They don't know one who break you. They break celebrities, presidents, anybody with money. Your attorney never is broke. You better hope you got a good law firm, too. But shout out to this dude, man. He had $100 bills. He's from Venezuela. Yo, I don't know what happened. Did he get arrested? No, I don't know. I missed that one. He can't afford an attorney, nigga. (laughs) Hey, Brandon. Yeah. What they tell you when you can't afford an attorney? I've we been will listening. get one. We will get one for you. 
Oh man, boy, when they pull out the when you take the government attorney boy as a rap for you. What am I doing a pro bono? You know he ain't prepared. Man, hey, real Brandon. talk. Hey, Brandy. Yeah. When he, when he went on TikTok crying, said he need money. I've been listening to that horse shit of yours for months. And I'm sick of it. <laughs> Moving on now. You know what, man? We got to start lobbing these kids in the head with some bricks. This is from whatsup.com. Teacher fights student for repeatedly calling him the N-word in the school hallway. School hallway. Boy, I love it. That teacher gave him. He ripped that teacher's shirt off. When you ripped that teacher white T-shirt, well, he he hit him with that shake and break. That boy couldn't even get back up. He, You deserve it. These kids are out of hand, bro. Yeah. Teacher should be able to throw hands with no repercussions. I tell you, man, we need to go back to the day. Hold your hand off. For what? Hit it with that goddamn ruler. Learn a lesson. Stop. But these teachers, man, they got it. I'm going to tell you what, man. Appreciate all the teachers. Y'all don't get paid enough. Y'all dealing with all that bullshit. You dealing with goddamn kids trying to have sex with you or you having sex with them. Yeah, you don't we, get paid enough drugs, motherfucker trying to stab you. We swung too far the other way. You know, at one point it was kids just getting their ass beat at the drop of a hat. Now we swung too far to the other side where kids ain't getting their ass beat at all. And, you know. Running a goddamn muck, boy, but that goddamn teacher hit him with that goddamn push. You better do some push up. That goddamn boy hit that ground. He was like, I thought I saw a putty cat. <laughs> I think this is a Hispanic boy, too. Looks like it. But, yes, kids should... All teachers should be able to knuckle up with kids now. Agreed. Even, even in elementary. Who you think you is coming at me with them shit? Punch him in the stomach. A teacher punched me in the stomach one time. I told this story before. Guess what? Guess what happened at the end of that day, Brandon? What's that? I tightened up. Yeah, normally. That's what happens. That mama hit me in the stomach so hard, nigga, I, I want to cry. But I manned up. <laughs> Good job, sir. It made me tough for the day. Hey, man, shout out to White Terror 101 in London. Hey, man, I got feel sorry for y'all people on these restaurants. I'm going to tell you right now, when I own a restaurant, any, any, any black people or white people with a party of five or more, you get locked in a room until you pay your check. <laughs> <laughs> so dying and dash gang of 20 lead staff distraught as all these people flee the restaurant for a $270 bill, which may be a little bit more than um, euros, man. But bro, they, they, they gang was, they had, they were drinking Corona, Cokes, having a party, but I'll beat the hell out of these folks that did in the restaurant. <laughs> and I say, Ooh, they were looking so sad. The puppy dog eyes on the motherfucking owner. How they said they never seen anything like it. I told you, man, it's, it's black terror starting to get into... I told y'all white folks starting to regress. Now y'all starting to run out on the tab. Yeah. How did 20 motherfuckers get up out of there? Did they just all get up out of their seats at once and just run? Yeah, man. Or did they sneak yeah. off like one at a time? Oh, they too trustworthy. You know, don't nobody let black folk do that. We when we worked in a restaurant bit and we see black folk acting shady, they always tell the hostess to watch him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch you 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 can see a motherfucker who ain't got no money, man. They just the the nerve of some people, man. The nerve of a motherfucker to eat a decent meal, work a slave a nigga to death. And run out on the bag. I mean, run out on the ticket, boy. Utterly insane. But moving on down. So this happened at this restaurant. Come back down a family, a white family of ten. The motherfucker ran out of the restaurant, and they were overweight. <laughs> I said, "See what happened when you be trusting black folks and not let niggas come in there." Yeah, yeah it's and a they shame. got them all on camera too. It ain't go, what gonna happen to him? 
I said, but they ain't never got. They probably didn't like the food anyway. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. There's a camera everywhere now. Yeah. They had a, they had a kid with her, bro. Got their granddaddy got this son. They they probably like put it on American tab. Put it on America tab. Cause they were all my Indian people too. And I can only I like the white folk probably like put it on American tab. Hey, Brad. Yeah. When the restaurant on this scene, them folk running up out of there. Oh. <laughs> I take that too, but I was also kind of thinking of other. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. If, if you Ain't really nobody. don't like me, just act like you like me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So we can get this motherfucking money. Ain't nobody bending me over. <laughs> no. I had to take that one off the board. It's fine. That shit sucking the way. It just always made me laugh. I don't know about you. That shit took me to death. <laughs> oh, man. Moving on down. We're going to get ready to wrap this up. I don't know what happened to Jermaine, but we got right. a couple more stories. This is all animal animal sex. White Ugh. terror. This is, you know what? This ain't even white terror. I'm sorry. This is universal terror. <laughs> Vice.com. I, you know, man, yeah, I... Black folk, kid, people having sex with chickens. I just don't understand the bestiality. But whatever y'all like, fine with me. A man allegedly sexually assaulted a dying beaver and let, you know, and let, and let, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to process this. (laughs) And let's just burn the world down. That's what this said. But this beaver was hit, beaver was hit. White woman, she put the she she was so nice and his leg was broke, so she put him on the um, got a towel out her car, put this said beaver on towel and dragged him across the road and called somebody, and I guess when she came back, she seen some hillbilly having sex with the beaver. Really? Yes. Wow. On Labor Day weekend, this motherfucker <laughs> name was Richard Diff. Bruh. Charged with animal crew. It's a beaver. I didn't even know how disgusting a beaver is until I looked at a whole documentary on beaver. Like, who the fuck sees a beaver that's been that's practically roadkill and goes, you know what? I'm gonna have sex with that. Oh uh, man, she I love she said she called the police. I caught a man having sex with the beaver. I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized that he know where to have sex with a beaver. I, dude, so that was the next words out of my mouth was just like, how familiar, how familiar how are you familiar? with beaver anatomy that, you know, you just ran up in there and started going to town. Tell me, I wonder why we got herpes, man. Go look up Christopher Goddard Columbus. <laughs> they should have had some women on them ships. <laughs> So this man having sex with a zebra. Another dude has a a zoophile, zoophile, a zoophile. Another man was having sex with a dolphin. (laughs) They had a great connection, which is utterly fucking insane. There's those people that bang that monitor lizard. Yeah, the the four people that gang, like you gang rape. What kind of, you know, I'm a... I'm not gonna use the N word. What kind of people you hang around? <laughs> what, what kind of you know what? Fuck it. Should I say it, Brandon? Yeah. Say yes. Or yes. This is a universal word because this wasn't black or white people. What kind of niggas you hang around <laughs> that sleep with animals and gang bang animal? Y'all niggas should be in jail. Y'all should not be on the street. And I think they they did lock them up, but still, yeah. These are your homeboys. I'm telling you right now. Right. Where did you find three other freaks like you that want to fucking gang rave a monitor lizard? I don't even know. I'm just like, wow. Yet again, you know what a sexuality is of this monitor lizard. And I'm like, how did you get there? What would Christians say every day we get farther and farther away from God? Yep. Yeah. Real talk. And I'm just like, dudes having sex with dolphins, orangutans. I'm telling you, man. If we in the Matrix, why won't you just blip them niggas out like like the Marvel movies? <laughs> At least blip us out somewhere where we on the island with some money. Well, if we are in a simulation, at least that lizard wasn't real. 
It it felt real for somebody. <laughs> that lizard, you think you, th- you don't think those lizard got little helmets on them too, eating their uh, mac and cheese? <laughs> goddamn robot got to be efficient. <laughs> And the goddamn gorilla got on the helmet too. <laughs> that would be some shit. No, oh, that should be a parody of the Matrix. Goddamn, goddamn koi fish. The koi fish is the Matrix. Horse, horse with a helmet. Yeah, goddamn. <laughs> Will it be still living? In, he's still living in goddamn a time loop. Rambe is still with us. Yeah, he ain't living that same one day over. <laughs> he trying to warn y'all. It's a simulation. This boy ain't real. You all fucked up for run, baby. <laughs> I, I don't get it, man. So more people sleep with animals. Let's get on down. Shout out to scientists, man. Hypersexual zombie cicadas are infected with a sexual transmitted fungus. It's a sexual transmitted disease, and I'm like, what are we gonna do with this? How do? We, and I read this whole article. It's some type of fungus that is now attaching itself to the male or any cicada, and it makes your genitals fall off. So the cicada doesn't realize it's failed. It's, you know, his genitals are off, and it has been replaced by a fungus, and they still be out there trying to mate, but the fungus just keeps spreading. Huh. And I'm like, wow. Yeah, it's damn nature, you scary. That's science, man. That's yeah. fucking science, man. Nature, nature, nature made everything in harmony. Goats out here, everybody. We, you know, everybody living out in the wild. The land is free. The flies not bothering you. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> them cicadas got the matrix helmets on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess cicadas. Is, why can't I feel my bottom? Goddamn fungus don't got you. I don't get it, man. But if we in a if we in a matrix, I want me and you to have a podcast. We just talk about us being in the matrix and uh, um something else I had in my mind. All right. We should we, we should do an episode. We just talk about us being in the matrix and how shit don't make sense. We can okay. go with anybody. You know. Don't say I won't but I will. You know, you know, I'm just saying zombies are cadence. Where y'all make this shit up at, man? All right, man, it's 11 o'clock. Oh, man, one more story, man. Can we do one more? Yeah, I got one more. Inside Edition. After losing all her money in an online scam, 74-year-old mother. (laughs) Raw's bank at gunpoint. (laughs) Shout out to Grandma, man. Them niggas scammed you. You came back with a vengeance. (laughs) Man, I love the people. She should not... She still don't have the right to rob the bank. What she got robbed? Right, the two robs make her right. Yeah, I mean, I feel it for this grandma, especially when she got scammed. How much? How much? How many G's was it? I mean, it was a pretty good chunk of change, wasn't it? She owed her sister five thousand dollars and owed another friend sixty-five thousand dollars. Sixty-five thousand. No, 70000 So after the two women supplied her with the loan, it aspects some of her, she was a victim of a, I don't know, bro. What, 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 did, they, talk, did they get her with an MLM? I don't know what the fuck. She came in there with a fire mom as a remedy, as a remedy to make her money back to pay them folk back. Hey, man, I appreciate you trying to pay them folk back to me. <laughs> right. If it was me, they'd have got it when I got it. Yeah. You got a strong constitution, boy. I tell you right now, no matter how much money I have in this world, I would never give a nigga sixty five thousand out on the strip. <laughs> I gotta take one of your children home, or son. <laughs> Goddamn Rumple Stillskin. Yeah, shit, boy. He gotta pay up, boy. Gotta, they gonna be putting on these matrix head, taking their matrix helmet out, eating that goddamn <laughs> yogurt, eating that gogurt until you come back with that money, bub. <laughs> And that's all I got to say. Cause Brandon tired, he ready to wrap it up. Yeah, we do appreciate you old. coming out, man. You old and tired, disrespectful son of a bitch. Like, why do you get tired in the Matrix? Because mm, my glucose glucose levels are up, and well, we don't know what happened to Jermaine, but God, hey, Brandon. Yeah, 
Every time Jermaine don't finish a podcast. I've been listening to that horse shit of yours for months. And you can take uh, that crap and blow it out your ass. And for good out. measure, sit <laughs> on this. I would also take it room service. I need you to bring me. Where's but I appreciate room? everybody who listened. Shout out to everybody who listened. Jordan, Paper Hand White, DJ R. The mu- DJ R, the Mullet King, goddamn. Uh, Dusty Easerman. Dusty Easerman, everybody else, Amber. Anybody Kimmy who listened, yo, Kimmy Kim. If yo, I swear to God, man, if you're. If your uh, mother-in-law still listening to this show, man, I'll make her she a T-shirt. Does. She I'll sure make, does. She's probably like, what the hell is going on with these people? <laughs> she's a weekly listener. God bless us. So, and we shout out to you. Shout out to you. We're going to give you an extra 40 more years of living. <laughs> Can't guarantee it, but we're going to give it to you, Brandon. We're going to try. It's yeah. for you, Brandon. Go no. ahead. Uh, what's up, it's your boy? We rock the white liaison. Uh, don't forget, you can write in Tokyo Black Hour at gmail dot com. Please write in; we'd love to hear from you. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter at Tokyo Black Pod. Uh, check out the TKB Panda Shop and get some gear. Like I said, it's warming up. Get your gear. Be the coolest kid on your block this summer. Tell your friends where you got that shit. Tell them to get some gear. Yeah, we need it. God damn it, we need it. Um, check out Christian Terry's book Seven Lives, Ten Lives They're on sale now No lives left coming soon While you're waiting for that Check out Endless Ink Publishing And their uh, anth- anthology series Earth's Final Chapter And check out Christian's book Within that series Called Casa Luna uh, Check out uh, Dusty on Instagram He is Dusty well, Unhinged That's it, there you go And uh, that's it I mean, that episode was terrible, but I promise you next week going to be better. I always remember, get the check. I'm going to let Brandon leave us out on this. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Every, t- every time a person come and ask me, can I get a free T-shirt from Tokyo Black? <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Uh, throw, throw, us a, throw, throw us a 10 spot. Yeah. Don't be so goddamn cheap. Right, man. Come on. Just give us something. Oh, man. Just a little Ooh. something. We do appreciate y'all staying with us this <laughs> late. But we'll catch you on the next go around. The Tokyo Black News and Review is out. And we tired of y'all horse shit. <laughs> Peace. Matrix. <laughs> Helmets. <laughs>